you know, obviously it's many years later, but do you still get up to face this team after they trade you on draft night? Uh, well, yeah, you got to keep those kind of things in the back of your mind, but you know, for the most part, we just need to win. And uh, you know, they still came up with a W, but yeah, in the back of my mind, I always think, you know, what if I wasn't, what if I wasn't rocking? But, you know, things happen. And, uh, you know, you and Kyle Lowry are really close friends. How does it feel seeing him finally getting a chance to be a starter? And uh, do you wish that you know, that had happened in Memphis while you guys were together? Not only a starter, an effective player in the league. You know, he's, he's doing big things. He's putting up big numbers. And, you know, I'm happy to see him out there. You know, um, obviously, you know, I love him still be my teammate. But, mm -hmm. you know, um, everybody has a different path. And, and he's, he's doing his thing out here. And has he talked to you at all about, you know, um, any less pressure now that he has the, the new contract? No, no. It's just um, he's playing basketball. He's doing what we all thought he can do, and um, he's doing it here. So you know, I'm happy for him. Thanks, Larry. Yeah, do you get Do you get up at all to face your old backup, Kyle Lowry? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, it's always a lot of competition between me and Kyle. We have a lot of fun. I always have a lot of fun competing against each other, so I definitely uh, get up for it and look for the opportunity to play against. Do you feel his game has changed at all since your days together? Uh, man, I feel like he's the same guy, uh, even better. I mean, he's gotten a lot better since he's been in Memphis, but still the same guy. You know, he has a lot of tendencies that uh, I'm used to because I've played against him so much, but um, he has improved a lot. He's worked a lot on the jump shot, and that looks a lot better for him, so he's gotten a lot better. Is there any less pressure on you now that you have the contract? and you feel secure, you know, it's, it's your job. You know, do you feel different this season? I feel a lot different. You know, I feel like it's, it's my team, um, opportunity to, to be a leader for the team and, and just be comfortable and uh, control my guys and, and uh, have, have a fun year. Do you plan on do you plan on training at all with the team in the offseason? I, I, I know that you've done that in the past. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I don't have my summer schedule yet, but... You know, that will be great for me to work out with him and keep progressing. Do you study his his you know his game at all and try to pattern yourself after that? I really study a lot of guys. You know, there's a lot of guys I respect up there. And, you know, whatever the team and uh, the coach I work out with bring me a table someone that's a person who I read. You know? mm -hmm. A few years ago, it's been it's been a while now, but the numbers showed that you were more valuable to Daryl Morey than a lottery pick in Rudy Gay. Do you still get, <laughs> do you still get up, you know, for this matchup, or is it just another game for you? You, you always you always uh, enjoy playing your old old team, and even though I didn't play any of those guys there, um, I mean when you when you play against Memphis Grizzlies, you played there for five five great years there. Uh, that's one of the teams I don't want to lose to. Is there anything specific about Rudy Gay that matchup? That just knowing that you two were traded for each other, you want to prove. Um, um, you know, not really. I mean, he's, he's a great player, and he's one of the emerging uh, young talents in this league. And uh, if I don't concentrate and bring it, you know, he's going to make me look really bad. So uh, those guys always get your attention. Thanks, Lash. Yep. You know, first half, you know, Aaron got fouled, and, um, you know, you held him back. Can you take us through that play? Oh, I just, like, he was jumping up. I mean, he was, wasn't, like, going at the other player. He was just getting hype, and I just made sure that he – did it in the right manner so he wouldn't cost himself a technical because sometimes when players just get up and yell, like the refs automatically think that they're yelling at the opposing team. So it just made it look like that we was getting hyped together. That was all. You're once again one of the most efficient scorers in the league. Once again one of the most efficient scorers in the league. Snubbed for the All-Star game. How, did, how does that feel? Uh, something I don't worry about. You know, yeah. um, I don't need to be glorified with uh, an All-Star birth to realize what kind of season I'm having or uh, what kind of progress I'm making throughout my career. So, you know, I spend time with my family and move on. Awesome.